Welcome back to Crux Stationalis, the Roman Station Church Network. Today, on Septuagesima Sunday, we find ourselves at the Basilica of St. Lawrence outside the walls. In Italian, San Lorenzo Fuori le Mura. Thank you for joining us at Crux Stationalis. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And when you're done watching, share it with your family and friends. Today on Septuagesima Sunday, we begin to count the days leading to the Feast of Feasts, Easter Sunday. These days number 63. Including Easter week in this count, we number 70 days. And so our itinerary of Roman Station Churches for the Lenten season begins. First, what does Crux Stationalis mean for all of the new viewers of this channel? This name was chosen because in the Catholic tradition, for processions of any sort, and especially the penitential litanies, the clergy and faithful would gather behind a cross. The Roman Station Churches are churches of the local church of the Diocese of Rome, which are assigned to particular liturgical days throughout the liturgical year. In Rome, for these days throughout the liturgical year, the faithful and clergy would gather at a colletta church and process to the station church, the statio. The seven districts of Rome each had its own station cross, or a crux stationalis, and behind their respective crosses they gathered and made this Lenten journey. They would do this amidst the physical toil of their daily lives, signifying and expressing in a tangible way the spiritual journey we all make in the Christian life. And so we, as we prepare for Lent with these days of Septuagesima, let us gather behind the cross and count nothing as lost. Every aspect of our daily life, the simple and complex, can and must culminate in that glorious cross of love crucified, Jesus. This portico or porch dated to around the year 1220 houses two sarcophagi, ancient in origin. This one decorated in the seventh century, most likely and adorned with these puti or these cherubs picking grapes. And we find these 13th century frescoes depicting scenes from the lives of St. Lawrence and St. Stephen, both martyred as deacons of Holy Mother Church. Now let us enter the Basilica. On Septuagesima, we gather at the burial place of St. Lawrence, especially honored in the city of Rome, of which he is the third patron after Saints Peter and Paul. La Basilica Papale di San Lorenzo Fuori le Mura, or in English, the Papal Basilica of St. Lawrence outside the walls, is a Roman Catholic minor papal basilica and parish church located in Rome, Italy. The basilica is one of the seven pilgrim churches and one of the five papal basilicas, formerly a patriarchal basilica, each of which was assigned to the care of a Latin church patriarchate. The basilica of St. Lawrence was assigned to the patriarchate of Jerusalem, it is the shrine of the tomb of its namesake, St. Lawrence, one of the first seven deacons of Rome who was martyred in the year 258. Many other saints and blessed Pope Pius IX are also buried in the basilica, which is the center of a large and ancient burial complex. Pope Benedict XVI renounced the title of Patriarch of the West in 2006 which, as a consequence, officially styled the Roman Catholic Patriarchal Basilicas as Papal Basilicas.
we are about to see two more lions, similar to the Romanesque ones seen in the portico. They adorn this pulpit and paschal candle, which are of cosmetesque decoration. This beautiful paschal candlestick from the 12th or 13th century reminds us throughout the year of the beauty of Easter night, when the light, the new light, fills the body of the church. And this is the sanctuary of the church, elevated above the rest of the body, also decorated in cosmetesque decoration and adorned with Corinthian columns. Before the present-day basilica was constructed, the former estate upon which it sits was once home to a small oratory built by Emperor Constantine. The emperor built it over the site on which tradition held that St. Lawrence was buried in 258. In the 580s, Pope Pelagius II commissioned the construction of a church over the site in honor of the saint. In the 13th century, Pope Honorius III commissioned the construction of another church in front of the older one. Both St. Stephen and St. Lawrence lie in this crypt, or confessio, underneath the high altar. Through this gate, we enter the larger area of the crypt, wherein we can find the tomb of Blessed Pius IX. And here we see the tomb of Blessed Pius IX, dark on cloudy days in Rome. If it caught your eye at the beginning of the video, you may have seen that it was this Pope who erected the column which stands in front of the basilica. The mosaic adorning the triumphal arch of the sanctuary is a 6th century mosaic of Christ and the saints. And now we explore more of this crypt. With engravings and altars with crucifixes of plenary indulgence, whoever comes to these altars with contrite heart is forgiven of his sins. And here at the foot of the cross, we find St. Lawrence and St. Stephen, the two deacon martyrs lying just steps away in their tomb. Next to these altars, we find the entrance to the cemetery which surrounds this church complex of San Lorenzo. Above the door, we see images of Christian art, so typical of Christian cemeteries, giving us the hope of eternal life, the Alpha, the Omega, the key and the Rho, the first letters of the name of Christ. And now let us explore more the season of Septuagesima. This 17-day period beginning on Septuagesima is intended to be observed as a preparation for the season of Lent, which is itself a season of spiritual preparation for Easter. In many countries, Septuagesima marked and still marks the traditional start of carnival season, culminating on Shrove Tuesday, sometimes known as Mardi Gras.
And so in coming to the tomb of St. Lawrence, we ask for his intercession. He is the third patron after Saints Peter and Paul in the Diocese of Rome, and we'll see him many times throughout the Lenten season. I hope you enjoyed this video for Septuagesima Sunday and the Papal Basilica of San Lorenzo Fuori de Mura. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our video for Sexagesima Sunday and our Lenten videos of the Roman Station Churches. Thank you for joining us at Crux Stationalis. We will see you next week. God bless you.